All right, so just as the OpenTX firmware for the FSI 6X radio transmitter, you can even use ER9X to replace the stock firmware. And currently I have ER9X on this radio transmitter. As you can see. So for the FSI 6X, the ER9X firmware is made available by Mr. Cotello and in this video we'll take a look at how to flash the firmware on this radio transmitter. So it's very simple and similar to how you would flash OpenTX on this radio transmitter. So firstly make sure that you have soldered the jumper wires to the motherboard of the radio transmitter. And I'm using a STM USB adapter to which I've connected all the jumper wires from the radio transmitter. So to download ER9X for the FSI 6X radio transmitter, you will have to go to RC Group forums and I have the link in description. And here Mr. Cotello has linked all the files. If you have the FlySky i6 radio transmitter and not the i6X, then the process to flash the firmware is a bit different. And because I don't have the i6 radio transmitter, I cannot make a video on that. So this video will only focus on how to flash ER9X for the FSI6X radio transmitter only. If you have the FSI6 radio, then the process to flash the firmware is a bit different and the instructions for that are over here. So I'll click on this link and I'll go to the downloads tab and I'll click on download repository. So once you download the zip folder, extract it somewhere and open it up and in the output folder, open exe folder and here you will see two hex files. So one is for the FSI6 and the other is for the FSI6X radio transmitter. So I'll be using this because I have the i6X radio transmitter. And to flash the firmware, you will need to download the ST-Link utility programmer. So download this software as well and launch the STM software once you have installed it. And then power on your radio transmitter. And then click on target and select connect. So now the chip on the radio transmitter is communicating with the software. And then click on target and click on program and verify. And click on browse. And then go to the extracted folder which we downloaded from RC Group forums and go to output, debug and exe and select the fsi6x file and click on open and then click on start. So once this is finished, the firmware should be flashed on your radio transmitter and you should see ER9X on the display. And then go to target and click on disconnect and then close the utility software and then disconnect all the jumper wires from the STM USB adapter. So that's how you install the ER9X firmware on the FSI 6X radio transmitter. In the next video I'll cover how to set up a model and take a look at the settings with the ER9X firmware. So thanks a lot for watching and if you found this video helpful please make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel.